Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for February 2nd, 2016. It's Groundhog's Day, and that means that a rodent gets ripped out of its hole and people make a big deal about it. Not me. I don't really care. But what I do care about is high pressure is building into the region with clearing skies and temperatures are falling as a result. Temperatures are falling into the mid to upper 20s over the interior, lower to mid 30s along the coast. A few upper 20s to lower 30s mixed in to the suburbs where we still have a little bit of a snowpack left. The good news is that that dry air has built in and that means that the fog that was developing early this morning around 3 a.m., has completely dissipated and as a result we have excellent driving conditions for the rest of this morning. As far as the forecast is concerned the primary impacts here is the high pressure system that is building south. This high pressure system will exit. This low pressure system will lift to the northeast towards the Great Lakes and towards the St. Lawrence River Valley and that's going to lead to some rainfall, quite a bit of rainfall for tomorrow especially tomorrow afternoon and evening where as much as an inch to an inch and a half of rain can fall, and as a result, there is some flash flood watches out for central and southwestern New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania, primarily for the potential for some overflowing streams, small rivers. Uh, so if you are living right by a small river, I'd keep an eye on that riverbed just a bit as the rainfall develops, and of course there is a slight potential for some urban flooding as well. As far as the radar is concerned, we're pretty much high and dry this morning. This storm is what we're going to watch for. This right here is a blizzard. This precipitation will lift up towards the Great Lakes and will not impact us. What we'll be watching for is this area right here with the cold front. As it solidifies into a area of heavy rainfall as it lifts to the north and east. And you see these showers breaking out here. That's with the warm front. So what we're going to experience is that as this low pressure system continues to intensify and lift to the northeast, we'll eventually see showers break out and then heavy rainfall developing from southwest to northeast. So it's going to be a rather wet day tomorrow. But for today, absolutely beautiful. High pressure is in control. Look for clear skies to sky cloud cover with very comfortable weather conditions. Again, we're talking about highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s in early February. Can't beat that. And with clear skies and low humidity, it's going to be a perfect day out there. And then again, we have our rainfall for tomorrow. So let's dive into this forecast. For this afternoon, look for sky cloud cover. Highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. For this evening, look for that cloud cover to increase throughout the evening and into the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, periods of showers will build into the region, becoming more widespread as we head towards the noon hour. Look for lows in the lower to mid 40s. In the afternoon, the cold front will approach the region with periods of heavy rainfall. Again, looking for a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain and temperatures rising into the mid to upper 50s in the New York City metropolitan area and upper 50s to lower 60s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. On Thursday, the cold front exits with a few lingering showers early in the morning, followed by clearing skies throughout the day. Look for an early high in the lower 50s and then temperatures falling through the 40s throughout the day as that colder air builds in. High pressure will generally be in control for the weekend, which is great news with tranquil weather conditions in place for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Look for temperatures to range from the upper 20s to lower 30s and highs in the mid to upper 40s throughout the region. Then things get interesting for early next week. On Monday, we all have a cold front that will drop south with a few lingering showers. Not really a big deal. Temperatures will range from the mid-30s for lows and mid to upper 40s for highs. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have to watch out for this area low pressure and this area low pressure. There's a lot of debate on what's happening here with the model guidance here. But there's potential for this to be more of a winter type storm, let's just say, with some accumulating snow possibilities for the region. Could be for the interior, could be for the coast. There's a lot we don't know here, but just keep an eye on February 9th as I think it has some potential here to uh, bring winter back. And then with that, after that uh, event, then it gets very cold. So that's your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.